So I've got several different domains registered for Shadowtron, uh, and I'm working on forwarding each one of those uh, domains into my actual Ansel here at home. I'm going to do Shadowtron.org here next. Uh, what, how I'm currently approaching this is I'm taking the .org, the .info, the .net, and I'm just forwarding them to their own uh, Debian web server for now. They'll probably get consolidated back to one box, but I, this is really just an exercise to uh, play with it. I'll demonstrate here uh, the steps to get this done. So I've already gone into my router, and I've got port 80 being forwarded to uh, the Ansel box. So its IP address on the network is receiving port 80. So I need to stand up a new antlet here, and this will be for Shadowtron. Was it org? Is that what we were looking at? I believe, yeah. So for now, I'm just going to name the antlet. Uh, the URL that's being sent to it. Uh, really don't need two processors for this. I'll fire up the antlet. The antlet's been created here. I'll start it. So the antlet's been created and started. Oh, it got created as a KVM. Uh, I did something very stupid there. I think I cr didn't create it as a Debian. Uh, go ahead and stop. I'm going to delete this one and recreate it correctly. Stop. And delete. I completely screwed that up. Shadowtron.org. This should have been a Debian. LXC outlet and you just saw a demo there how quickly I made a mistake was able to recover from it and rebuild this so it's on address 17 let's go ahead and jump into uh, secure shell here so the first thing I want to do is get to that outlet, we're on the Ansel, and we see we're on outlet 17. I want to do an apt get update. Let it update it. I'm going to go ahead and install Nano. I think I'm coming coming to prefer it to Vi. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I, I know that sentence right there could create a flame war. I think I've got Nano on the machine. Let's go ahead and get Apache 2 configured. And Apache 2 gets downloaded and installed. Let's go to uh, the uh, I was in var. Yeah, trying to go to the wrong place. Let's rename index.html out of the way. Uh, dot back. Let's nano a new HTML. Uh, heading one. This is tron.org. We're going to send to here. We've got some content. Uh, should be able now to go to web browser and go to uh, Antlet 17 local. And there it is. We've stood up. Uh, the Debian server 
installed Apache and created a little bit of default content on it. So the next piece in this is going to be dealing with my uh, A records. So let's jump over to GoDaddy where I'm hosted. And I'm going to go ahead and update the A record on org. And where I need this to go to is this IP address. Oops. That didn't do me much good. Well, I've got it captured here in Notepad since I can't remember it. Deal with too many IP addresses. So we're going to point it at this IP address, which happens to be my cable modem here at home. Uh, this will refresh fairly quickly here. <coughs> Excuse me. That should be all we need to do there. If we go back to the web browser, this still won't work, but we should now get... Oh, what am I doing? Shadowtron.org. So, yeah, they're still transitioning, so I, I do believe it's got to... Uh, Records have got to get updated. So anyhow, while the A records are being updated, let's get back to... So I'm back on the Ansel itself. I'm in the NGIX virtual host folder. Uh, what you do is nano. And what we have here is a, a forwarding entry for each one of the servers. So currently shadowtron.info is being forwarded to my .15 ansel. .net is being forwarded to the .16 ansel. And what we're going to do is copy this block of text. I actually should have positioned the cursor down here. Oops, I believe I just should have just pasted it in. So we have Shadowtron info, Shadowtron net, and we're going to take Shadowtron org. And we're going to forward it on to Ansel 17. Control X. Yes, I want to save. And we can see that InfoNet and org are now there. I need to do uh need to restart. Hopefully it's still in the I need to restart the NGIX service. So we'll do a service. Restart this now. Process that configuration file. The forwarding should now be working. And hopefully, did I do something wrong? It's quite possible. Oops. I wanted to be looking at my GoDaddy account here. Shadowtron.org. Well, yesterday this was almost instantaneous. Uh, not sure why today it's not. A record points to. I don't have any. Nope. Shouldn't need to do anything else. Uh, Ah, so I've got an issue VM UGZ not found on this server. So obviously I've done something wrong. We'll go ahead and take another look. Rewrite Shadowtron or request server name. 
Shadowtron.org, the 10.1.1.17. Everything there looks fine. It's always fun when uh, <clears throat> what worked before doesn't does not now want to work. So I do believe this actually got forwarded, and this error is most likely coming off of the uh, uh, web server antlet itself. Yeah, that all looks perfectly fine. Let's get back over to 17. CD bars. Oh, every time. Root. Ah. Good try. Uh, cat. I don't know if the capitals in there are actually causing the problem. I'm not sure why I topped the heading and paragraphs as caps. Shouldn't make a difference. We got there before. Uh, Let's go to Antlet 17. And the content is there. So why are we having issues with it's actually a 404 error? There it is. It just took a second for the plumbing to hook up. So what we've done here is we've taken my shadowtron.org uh, domain that I own that went nowhere. It was just a park domain. Didn't have any content behind it. Updated the A record uh, to get it to point to my uh, IP address here at home. Stood up an antlet on Debian to put some web content behind. Actually threw in a bit of web content on it. And then on the Ansel server itself, Oops, I wanted shadow. On the uh, Ansel server itself, we added another redirector here, basically, that forwards the .org onto the new system we set up. So hopefully this is useful to somebody. Uh, it's pretty simple to do this once I figured it out. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Talk to you later.